Hey guys, welcome back. Are you ready to build the next project? I am. Let's do it. Uh, if you have been keeping up with the comments, you might already know what this project is. But uh, just in case you don't, we are building a long tail cargo bicycle for my son. He'll get a long tail because he needs to get back and forth to school with his trombone on the back. So uh, what am I doing with this frame? I'm going to steal the head tube, drop out seat tube, and bottom bracket. I'm going to take those off the frame and recycle those. To do that, I'll tear it down and then I'll need to strip the paint. But uh, in this case, paint it is not. It is powder coat. It's got some decals on the side, so I'll get those off. Okay, it is ready to be stripped. To do that, we'll be using Rust-Oleum Aircraft Remover. I got a few tarps, a cheap brush, scrap metal for scraping, a respirator, and some eye protection. Using Aircraft Remover is pretty straightforward. You just brush it on, but as I eventually realized, globbing it on works best. Use a lot. Once it's on, it only takes about 15 minutes and then you can start scraping. I only covered the parts to be recycled and I started out by just doing one side, although in retrospect, I wish I covered both sides from the beginning. While that's setting, let's design the frame. I opened up the plans to my most recent frame build to refresh my memory on its geometry. I like the top tube length on this bike and I think it will be a good size for my son too. Next I loaded up BikeCAD's BMX template. There it is. BMXs look weird with fenders. We'll hide those. Here I'm looking at some reference of general BMX geometry. Specifically the seat tube, it's got a 71 degree angle. And my current bike, my most recent bike that I built, has a 73 degree angle. So I'll go right down the middle at 72 degrees. Next we'll do the head tube. BMX uh, is about 75 degrees, a general BMX. The bike I just built is 73 degrees. I'll go with 73. For fork rake, we'll do 31 millimeters. Here's a pic of a Dahon for comparison, but I must warn you to never trust images off the internet because they could have been edited. I did it here because, actually I don't know why I did it here. It was just a bad idea. I think I was just trying to make myself feel better. Uh, next we'll get these tires to be the right size. 20 inch tires is 508 millimeters. And the cranks. We'll set those to 165s. For the top tube, as I mentioned, we'll go with the same length that's on my most recent build. And for the bottom bracket drops, something less aggressive, but high enough so that the pedals don't scrape the ground. And then we need to adjust the head tube length. Because my top tube is set to 0 degrees, we need to increase the C tube length so that the head tube length will also increase. Note there is no field to enter head tube length. You must do it by lengthening the C tube or changing the top tube angle. Okay, I think that's a good place for us to start. Let's check in on the powder coat. Not too bad, as I said, I wish I went more liberal on its application. Uh, this is still stripping off, but the more you put on, the easier it comes off, is what I found. All said and done, it was a lot of work. It wasn't the kind of thing that takes too long. I think it was about a couple hours, but you know how it is. Stripping paint is not fun, and uh, it feels like an eternity to me anyways. Uh, if you've got money, more money than time, you might want to just buy new tubes and not go through all this trouble. The main trouble being it's really messy. It gets all goopy and globby and if you're not careful it will get all over the place. 
but once you get it mostly removed, I found that because it's water soluble, you can wet a towel and then uh, wipe it down. Also, the water seems to neutralize it. Uh, after wiping it down, the powder coat got kind of plasticky again, which was nice. All right, now that we got that squared away, let's jump into Photoshop and concept this bike. Okay guys, that wraps up the first episode of this long tail build. If you are interested, I have a website where I've started posting updates, pithybikes.com. There you can see the latest news and updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.